definitely in ketosis, but the bread didn't do anything. And the last thing that I reintroduced was sauces. So I, I did ketchup and this barbecue sauce that was fairly low sugar, but I, I dipped chicken and uh, a burger in there. And that was it. Now, I, the way I did the burger was no sauce on the burger so I could see how the bun is just alone and then reintroduce sauces on their own. I was very careful about this. Um, no reactions whatsoever, but remember, this is mental health. I did the ketogenic diet for mental health reasons, not to, not to lose weight, not to see what my workouts would be like and energy levels that way pump and iron, although I, my energy wasn't great the whole time. Um, but this was for mental health, and as far as anxiety or anything like that, or depression, um, no real benefit with the ketogenic diet no big benefit um, because I was feeling good from the beginning now as I told you all before the real test would be going off antidepressants and maintaining the ketogenic diet and that's something I'm still debating and I'd appreciate your balanced opinion there and don't go after me about that but it's a big decision because I've gone off antidepressants before and I've almost died and I know the withdrawal effects it's like well, if you've gone through that, yeah, I don't need to describe it. So, last but not least, this is very uncut. Let's go through the blood results. Now, as I said before, the nurse was nice enough to give me a copy. I'm trying to figure out how to best share this with you guys. They measured sodium, potassium, chloride, total CO2, uh, glucose levels, and creatinine. I believe that's how you say it, creatine, uh, creatinine. So, sodium perfect and my meals I added salt on everything since with carbs and breads you're getting a lot of salt that way you do need to salt your food with the keto that's one thing I learned potassium on the high end but right on uh, chloride perfect glucose was on the low end so they give you a range of four moles per liter to 7.8 and I was at 4.6 so the nurse did say that was on the lower end glucose and, uh, well, obviously I'm not getting the carbs, so uh, that, I think that makes sense. Or maybe I wasn't full keto. I don't know. Those experienced, or maybe a doctor's watching, please let me know. Creatinine, which is uh, creatine. You get all that from meat, right? That was at 84 um, out of 112, so that's a perfect range. I just want to talk about the things that were high for me with this blood test. So red blood cell count was on the high, like, it was too high. So they give you a range of 4.3 to 5.6 E12 per liter. Don't know what that means. Anyways, it was 5.64. Red blood cell count was high as well as, which is cool, um, MPV. MPV stands for the platelet volume, the your blood platelets and how large they are. And I was, these were fairly big. And if, if something is, um, again, I was talking to the nurse, MPV, I can tell you exactly what that means. Mean platelet volume, average platelet volume. Uh, calculated measurement of the average size of platelets found in the blood and is typically included in the test as part of the CBC. So what this means, if it's high, it says normally um, occurs when your body constantly creates new platelets because of a continual loss of existing platelets. This can be caused by things like recent surgery, infection, inflammation, or from heavy blood loss. So I didn't lose any blood, but I'm thinking maybe inflammation could have had something to do with this. Um, although with the lack of 